Thursday, October 11th. Equities down 150 handles from yesterday's high. Let's look at that chart first. Boom, baby. This is tough now if you're square. Uh, and if you took profit, 2830, 2825, which I think a lot of us did. At least we did. So we don't have any shorts on. The risk reward now is it makes this very tough. 27.67 is the 200-day uh, moving average. This thing uh, is going to be sort of the bull bear line for today. A daily close below this, and this will this is really going to continue. We got up to 85.50 last night in the first hour of trade in Asia, uh, but really it's just been one-way traffic. Uh, looks very bad, you know. Everyone been talking about this, Dalio, all the big boys have been talking about this, now it's happening. Um, we're just going to be patient now, S&Ps, focus a little bit more on currencies. Uh, took some money out of it yesterday, probably should have done better, but such is life. But this does look very, very bearish. Let's go back to currencies. As we talked about yesterday, uh, Euro higher dollars lower uh, we broke 115.50 last night today uh, you can buy euros between 30 and 55 uh, we think this has more room to go and this US equity sell-off is also going to lead to some dollar selling um, at least for today and then if it really continues tomorrow we might see some dollar buying but today we can be expect more dollar selling and we expect euro to trade up to 116 dollar swiss turned as we talked about yesterday broke 99 eventually now we're trading 98.60 core short dollar swiss works as does core short dollar yen the first support in dollar yen is 111.90 the low today was 97 there will be some Expect some sideways movement, let's say 111.90 to 112.30 in dollar yen, but with this equity sell off, this has further to go. Euro yen has been neutralized because of the euro buying. You can see it's just stubbornly coming off, but um, the Italian story has died down now. The focus now is, is on the American story and American rates. You can see that. The 10 years now yielding 315. Euro yen's probably not your horse. You want to stick with dollar Swiss and dollar yen and euro as your horse. One of the confounding moves in all of this is EM. In my mind, uh, EM should be getting destroyed here. It's holding up very, very well. I imagine at the European Open today, all of uh, all the big boys are going to sell some czar and sell some uh, Turkish lira. This whole global meltdown uh, should penalize these economies a great deal. As far as what the chart is telling us, it's not that great. Uh, so we'll just have to wait for a better setup. Quickly to Aussie. We printed another 70.40 low, 70.44 today. Um, this looks like an old-fashioned break trade down there now through 70.44 one two three four lows down there um, Aussie doesn't really seem to be in play Aussie yen obviously has some selling pressure but this is a very interesting level kinda looks like it's gonna hold but bearish engulfing yesterday I don't know why we're up at 74 now, but through 44 looks to be a break trade. Cad Yen just got pillared yesterday. Holy shit. I do not understand dollar cad here. Look at that. No clue, dollar cad. I have no idea what we're doing up here. I guess oil's a bit lower, but who knows? Cad Yen just got crushed. 
dollar max as you would expect up through the highs the recent high uh, from uh, Friday was 20 today we traded uh, 19 18 and a quarter this looks like a pivot up here at 1920 I wouldn't be long max in this uh, in this environment selling max selling czar selling try short dollar yen short dollar swiss long euro dollar this is uh, these are our horses today pick your poison take a step back and a deep breath now plan your trades don't get too excited this is all just normal market market nonsense wherever it is um, and uh, let's continue to make some more money today good luck out there people talk to you later